National Bird Day, and which is going to be celebrated tomorrow, January 5th. And um, it's really that day that is set aside to appreciate birds for their beauty and song and flight that have long been a source to human inspiration. And I being a birder, I totally understand this because it is, um, yeah, it's wonderful watching birds and how much I appreciate them. So this uh, Na um, National Bird Day hasn't been around that long. It's only been around since 2002. And it comes at the very end of the annual Christmas bird count. So January 5th is the last day of the Christmas bird count. So if there's any birders out there, you all may have participated in that this year, but that runs Jan usually um, December to the very beginning of January. So um, this is just a, a day to think about um, our birds, think about how we appreciate them and things that we can do for them. Um, so it's generally, it's that spe it's National Bird Day is the celebration of all the different bird species that we have. Um, it's estimated there's more than 10,000 different species of birds worldwide. And we know many of those, while we have that many, we know a lot of them are under threat due to climate change and loss of habitat. And this day is a day to, to think about those things and um, recognize those and see what we can do to maybe make some differences. Um, birds are often keystone species in many of our ecosystems, and there can definitely be signifiers of its health and its vitality. So some activities that you could do um, on National Bird Day, study some birds. Um, check out, there's a couple of, there's tons of great books out there. I just listed just a couple here. Check out a book about birds. If you wanted just to learn and look at, you know, what makes a bird a bird, there's the Sibley Guide to Birds. It's a great bird guide. Then there's a great book, The Genius of Birds, and this is a fantastic read. I mean, it is nonfiction. And then there's also a memoir, H is for Hawk. Um, check those out along with many others that are out there. You could also check out the All About Birds website. If you've not checked it out, absolutely do. It is just a wealth of knowledge about birds. It is um, put together by the Cornell Lab of Ornithology. And in addition to learning about birds, say you've seen one in your backyard, you want to know more about it, where does it nest, you know, uh, what does it eat, you can look all of that up, but you can also take online classes. And I've taken several, many of them are free and they're an hour long or whatever. Some of them you can pay for and they'll be it considered almost like a semester long, lots of content there. Um, so check out all about birds um, to study more about birds. You could even watch some birds. Um, and it's estimated that more Americans watch birds than play baseball and American football combined. So this could be your new hobby. If this isn't something you've done before, but you're kind of interested, this is the time to start that. So you could really start this out by downloading the free Merlin bird app. Um, you can get that, um, you know, on your phone and it's for both uh, Android and um, iPhone. So that's easy to use. It's great in helping you identify birds out in the field. So you're not carrying your big clunky field guide. You can quickly pull your phone out, look something up. It even has an option to you hit record and it's recording the sound of the bird as it's singing. And it'll give you a variety of options is it this bird? Is it this bird? So um, a great, a great resource. Um, and it'll be based on where you're located. We're all in the eastern half. So you're going to download that packet there. And then you can put um, a bird feeder out. Um, I I'm, do this every year. I am a, a project feeder watcher. Um, but you can put that bird feeder out and join Project Feeder Watch, um, which is put out by the Cornell Lab of Ornithology also, and become a part of community science for the birds. And um, this program does cost, it's about, I think, $18 for non-lab um, members, but it's a great way to start your bird watching, um, start learning your birds, those, those common backdoor um, backyard birds that we have, they kind of sit still a little better than trying to chase them through the woods. You can see them at your feeder, use your binoculars, help um, identify them, and then you go in and log what you've seen. And you're helping um, us keep track, helping Cornell and the bird community keep track of the birds and where they're visiting and how that's changing over time throughout the winter. So hopefully you'll have some fun tomorrow. Think about birds, get out, do one of these activities for um, the National Bird Day.